Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you my weekly review. Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here, meeting my icon, Catherine Isabel here. Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you a review and, well, more so a thoughts video on a short film called Iteration 1. Now, Iteration 1, like those are short films, short films are typically, uh, you know, they can have a bit of a time range. Some of them can be like, uh, you know, 5 minutes, some are like 10 minutes, 20, and then the longest I've seen for like actual short films are like maybe 30, 40 at most. Um, yeah, this came out a couple of years ago, actually, in uh, February of 2016. And it stars, of course, Catherine Isabel as a girl named Anna, who uh, yeah, has, has a bit of an issue. She keeps waking up in a strange white room. She has about 60 seconds or so to escape. And uh, each time she, uh, after the 60 seconds, she uh, goes unconscious and she wakes up again and it starts over, iteration two, three, four, five, six, seven, so on. Um, so she has to figure out, uh, you know, the puzzle of this and you know, if there's any, any way to escape and stuff like that. Um, and now, uh, this of course is uh, Catherine Isabel, as I said, Catherine Isabel being my all-time favorite actress, not just in the horror genre, but just in general. Um, I did a couple videos on it already, but I was just thrilled to meet her at the flashback Chicago Horror Con in a in um, August of last year. Uh, I can't talk enough about that. Um, you know, I've loved her for years, and uh, I always meant to see this move, this uh, short. But you know, of course, it did uh, screen at quite a few festivals. Um, but they actually just posted it online on Vimeo. Um, Vimeo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm probably butchering the site name there, but. Um, I was looking forward to that for a while. I was uh, anticipating because I could never find any other way to see it. And I was a big fan of Catherine Isabel's. So it always bothered me that I hadn't seen it yet. And it's been uh, you know a couple of years now, more than a couple of years. Um, it's finally on there now, and I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to check it out yourselves. Um, you know, it's definitely hard to like you know critique a, a short. You know, um, but you know, I definitely enjoyed it. And uh, my my favorite part of it though was of course Catherine Isabel again. Um, she's very good in this, and the little bit of time she has, she's able to show Anna's desperation really well. I don't know if it was the makeup that helped, or the lack thereof, I, I don't know. But that, and just like her acting together, you know, you could see her desperation, sort of her paranoia and confusion. Um, Catherine Isabel is really good at the, you know, expression in this movie. Um, and as she gets into a mode, into like the routine of what's going on, it, it gets pretty funny, you know, for a little bit anyway. Um, you know, she keeps, she's really good with like mannerisms, like little facial tics and stuff like that. Um, and she was really cute when she kept on coming into a room and uh, she would see versions of herself also trying to do the same thing. Um, you know, she'd make like different like nose, noses or like, I don't know, it, it, was, it was just kind of a funny little touch that they had with her there. Um, that was a lot of fun, and there's a room where there's like a ton of balloons that I have to keep popping together over and over. And there's a tree with an axe and everything like that. Um, you know, now I know there's probably some, you know, there's probably some deeper meaning to some of this stuff. I'm not going to pretend to know what it is. Um, you know, maybe, uh, maybe the director is, this is meant to like represent something else, potentially, I don't know, but, uh, I'm not sure, so I'm not going to pretend to be. Um... But nonetheless, even without uh, the idea of that, there's uh, definitely entertainment to be had with this one. And like I said, it's hard to critique it. It's hard to you know, like even you know rate it. 
Um, because it's Catherine Roosevelt, I feel like giving it an A, but then maybe it's more of like a solid B. I, I don't know. It's just not enough to go on, you know, being, you know, 15 minutes actually less, I think, of the actual, um, short. Um, but still, definitely check it out if you're a fan of Catherine Isabel. I think it's just a, you know, quick and easy watch. Um, and you definitely want to support this kind of filmmaking as well, for sure. Um, definitely has, like, a engaging, um, camera engaging camera work and cinematography to it too i thought it was quite nice for again how short it was uh, so let you guys know about this if you watched it if you haven't check it out below like you said it's not gonna really hurt you you know <laughs> um but yeah so follow me on facebook twitter like subscribe i'll catch you guys next time peace